what ABB was awarded the contract to manufacture and install the that interconnected cable. Damien, why ABB? Well, I suppose with 100 years of, uh, well over with 100 years of experience in mm. the installation and manufacturing of high voltage cables and the successful track record that uh, ABB have in this, in this field, then that is why ABB were chosen. Can I ask you a question, yeah. Lars? Yeah, uh, please. Why did, you, why did you want this contract to work with Britnet? You know, this is a strategic, extremely important contract for ABB. Yeah. Britnet is an extremely uh, focused and motivated company. And this gives us the opportunity to learn and improve and stay on top of our field. Great. Let's look forward to a successful completion of the Britnet Interconnect. Thank you very much. Sir. We are now in the middle of the BritNet project. I think we have passed a number of challenges together, but we still have a number of them in front of us. Today we have discussed different ways to improve the cooperation between ABB and the BritNet project team. For me it's important that we use the success stories we have together and we try to find the common success factors. If we do that and communicate with our project teams, I think we can improve our common work a lot. The examples we have discussed today have been the work with the HSE, both in the manufacturing and in the field activities. We have also heard about the problem with the moving sand waves in parts of the cable route and the good work with the electrical engineering. Jan Flinke from ABB has just explained the successes we had so far building the BritNet interconnector. We have had challenges and defined some areas where we can improve. We can only reach our common goals by closely cooperating. Today's conference provides an excellent basis for this journey. So Jan, just, uh, just about the next steps on our journey to better cooperation. Uh, we agreed it is about better communication, uh, involving the operational management team, <laughs> defining the way, ways of working. Um, I also think appreciating our differences, but also understanding our common goals and finally building trust. I enjoyed today. Mm, so did I. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Martin Croucher. I'm the program manager for BritNed. BritNed is a joint venture between National Grid in the UK and Tenet in the Netherlands to build an electricity interconnector between our two countries. In developing the BritNed business, we were looking for key business partners to engineer, procure and construct the main elements of the project. The Siemens BAM Nuttles Consortium was selected to deliver the two converter stations at each end of the link safely, within budget and on time. This is how we are delivering the needs of the BritNed business. We meet the client's expectations in all areas where safety, quality, cost and programme are mutually inclusive. We as a team of professionals have a proven track record. We've defined the interfaces between the partners and our consortium has a wide range of technical knowledge to manage the programme, the risk, the benefits of the project. As a consortium of five consortium partners from three different countries, we got to work closely together and understand our weaknesses and strengths and build together a stronger team. Well, we worked very well together as a team uh, inside the consortium and with Britnet. So we are very confident that we will deliver a best-in-class project. Hello, I'm Alan Taylor from Bamnotto. One of the most powerful messages we got from today's collaboration conference was that our business relationship has changed. It started nearly two years ago, based mostly on price, specification and contract compliance, which tends to be a norm although BritNet stressed they wanted more than just compliance. Today's conference has made us aware that our relationship has actually changed to one based more on trust, respect and openness. This makes the communication we already had much more powerful. The threat of conflict has been removed and importantly for the consortium partners and BritNed, we realise the power of collaborative working in terms of delivering the final product safely and to the highest standard possible. 
We also realise that this form of collaboration opens the door for future ventures beyond BritNet. I'm David Friend, I'm Contracts Manager for the Converters for BritNet. BritNet is a joint venture between National Grid in the UK and Tenant in the Netherlands. The project is to build an electricity interconnector between our two countries. In developing the BritNet business, we were looking for key business partners to engineer, procure and construct the main elements of the project. The Siemens, BAM and Nuttles Consortium was selected to deliver the two converter stations at each end of the link, safely, within budget and on time. One thing we continuously need to achieve is creating win-win situations. And this can only be done if we really understand each other's goals. Appreciate the cultural differences. Invest in the people involved and know the people involved. I strongly believe that is a great success factor for many of our projects. When you understand the goals of each other, it uh, is helpful for collaboration. In BritNet, we developed a great business relationship with our EPC contractors. And it's all about collaboration. Collaboration is absolutely key to develop these key relationships. These relationships has helped us deliver BritNet on time, on budget, and indeed safely, which is absolutely key. Now the future of these relationships will help us build that bond with our EPC contractors that will help us take us forward to the next contracts in the future, in the next two, three, five or even ten years. So collaboration has been absolutely key and has been instrumental for the success of Britain Ed and our joint contract partners. Hello Arne, it's very good to have you here in Holland in, uh, at our uh, collaboration uh, conference here. We're halfway through the works for BritNet. What, in your opinion, are the success stories for you within BritNet? There has been a, a, a number of success stories within the BritNet project until uh, today, but I can mention some of them. The sound waves, which has been one of my biggest concerns from the very beginning, were very good handled by both organizations. We brought in the appropriate experts and we solved the problem in a reasonably fast and efficient way. Uh, and now we have a workable method for the installation of the cables. Yeah. Second, uh, I'd like to thank you for the, for the nice work you have done home in Kaskrona in the factory by raising the health and safety levels. We have improved during the project so far. Um, uh, we have also had a success story with respect to the electrical engineering, mm -hmm. where we very fast and efficient with, with uh, qualified people on both sides agreed on, on um, the type test scheme and the cable design and so on. I think those are the success stories I'd like to mention. There are many more of them. Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, what are, in your opinion, uh, key factors for a good co cooperation with each other? I think that what worked very well in the success stories we have had, that was the communication, it was the mutual trust, and yeah. also the respect. Yeah. And, and talking about communication, I, I'm not referring to the contractual demands of weekly mm. reports and monthly meetings and that kind of stuff but I'm more referring to the individual communication that took place uh, during the success stories. Then. Yeah, and can you tell me a bit an example if you talk about respect? I think that um, a respect, that is to acknowledge that we have the cultural differences mm -hmm. and also differences in skills. We are supposed to be the professionals, we do nothing else than deliver high voltage cables and we need to, to appreciate that and perhaps slow down and, and and explain more in detail for you in order to move forward. And you on the other side, I think you will have to respect our, our long experience mm -hmm. and, and uh, also trust us, which is one of the, the, the key factors also for success. You need to trust <coughs> us and our experience. We have all the incentive in the world to do a good job. Yes. For you. Well, thank you very much, Arne. It's very good to have your opinion on these matters. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure to be here. Okay. Thank you.